Hey, it's Tuesday and I'm out on the Willoway dock and the guys are already up and busy uh, loading racks, getting ready to put stuff on trucks. Let's take a quick walk through the dock. So first up here we're looking at Oh So Easy Paprika. The whole Oh So Easy collection is uh, phenomenal. They're Easy Care Roses with a lot of flowering impact. Next to them here we're looking at uh, the one gallon uh, Grandma's Fine line. We got some gorgeous 3s, 7s and 15s and uh, this is a great price point for retail. Here we're looking at a nice order. This is a new crop of our three gallon limelights. And you see a lot of uh, hydrangeas. This is uh, more of the limelights and here this is uh, another proven winner. This is Firelight. This one has that intense red flower and uh, you know the hydrangeas are, are going fast but we got future crops coming up. They're looking fantastic. Another new crop added recently was the Aronia Low Skate Mound. Man, these things are just gorgeous. Fresh new crop, and uh, this is a real hot plant. They're very adaptable to soil conditions, and they offer a bloom, fruit, and awesome fall color. Check this one out, Aronia Low Skate Mound. We're going to see a lot of hydrangeas. we got some awesome looking plants. Here we're looking at uh, two gallon bloom trucks. Bud and bloom looking phenomenal here, guys. So you can see the dock is just loading full of uh, hydrangeas and gorgeous summer color. Here we're looking at our three gallon Bloomstruck. Big beautiful plants. Bud and Bloom. Bloomstruck, three gallons. Look at the color on these 19 centimeter. This is a new salvia. This one is called Blue Marvel. And uh, we have the, the blue and the rose. This one's a blooming machine. Blue Marvel. See a lot of spirea coming up. We got fresh new crops. This is uh, part of the Spirea Double Play series from Proven Winners. Nice looking plants here. And then next to them we have a, a brand new Monarda. This is uh, Sugar Buzz and this is Rockin' Raspberry. Look at that color. Here we're looking at the nice blue color. This is a very popular one. This is Juniper Gray Owl. And then we have uh, some of the True Bloom Roses. And those have been hot. This one is True Passion which is a gorgeous red rose. It's featured on the doc video last week and again this is a whole new series of blooming roses with fragrance. These are selling fast guys. You better get your true bloom roses. Here we're looking at Potentilla and this is uh, in the Bloom and Easy program. This is Bella Bellissima. Boy look at that bud and bloom on those. That's a pink flower. Gorgeous plant. Here we're looking at Budley and Budley is going very quickly. This one is Pink Cascades and we really like this one because of that large flower to it. These are gorgeous plants. They're just starting to bud up. Perfect timing. Pink Cascade. You see that deep dark rich color? That is a brand new Daravilla called Night Glow from the Bloom and Easy program. And uh, it's just starting to bud. So we'll see the flowers coming in here. And those have nice yellow contrasting color to it. Nice looking plants. Night Glow Daravilla. Very versatile plant as well. And here we're looking at our two gallon Spirea Little Princess. All butted up, looking good. Here's a small order getting ready to go on the truck, but I just had to grab it real quick. Here's a look at our three gallon. This is Buxus Green Mountain. Incredible, nice. Look at these. This is Ficus Brown Turkey or Hardy Fig. Again, here we're looking at those uh, Potentilla Bellissima. And uh, those are hot on the dock. Potentilla is going to give you a lot of nice summer color. And again, that's a pretty tough plant. Potentil. So here I'm just going to pan this order. These are all the one gallon uh, Budley of Buzz. And uh, you can see really nice plants loaded with flower buds. These are going almost as quick as we're putting them on inventory. So if you got them on order, now's the time to get them. If you haven't ordered them, I wouldn't wait. Here we're looking at part of the Gallardia spin top. And these are the reds. And uh, you can see they're still loaded with flower buds. Here we're looking at the gorgeous color on the sedum, Angelina's Teacup. Brand new sedum just added from uh, the Proven Winter Collection. This is part of the Rock and Grow series. This is Bundle of Joy. This one is just going to be a little round snowball of white flowers here soon. Again, various sedums are very uh, heat, drought tolerant. Great plants in either in the landscape or in a container. We can see here trees are still coming up. We got a great selection of trees and uh, you know it's just never ending with our selection from five gallon the beautiful five gallon dogwoods all the way up to our 45s and we also have great field specimens available in our quick turns. Here we're looking at a fresh new crop. This is Sedum East Friesland. 
And uh, boy, perennials are going again as fast as we can put them on. So uh, you definitely want to get your orders in early in the week. Back around there, we're looking at our seven gallon hydrangea Alice. Again, nice big heavy full plants, landscape ready. Coming down here to show you our one gallon uh, ground covers. Here we're looking at uh, um, English Ivy. This is Thorndale here. And then our one gallon pack of Sandra. We also have flats available, but I had to show you these. These are instant effect ground covers. Beautiful. More nice perennials here. We have Geranium Roseanne. In the background we have some Nepeta showing some color. More of the sedums. Here we have uh, Blue Spruce, which gives you another color there. Gorgeous sedums. Beautiful Roseanne. Here's an example. Here we have some uh, two to two and a half inch uh, crab apples that have just been dropped off the dock. They're getting ready to put those right on this container load. Be sure to check out the quick turns. Two more awesome new sedums. These are in the Plants of Work program. This one is Atlantis. And you can see this great variegation in them. And uh, this one here is called Sweet and Sour. And look at that color, guys. Again, very drought tolerant, sun tolerant plants in both the landscaper containers. I'd check this one out. I just had to pull one of these out. Look at these three gallon. This is, again, a three gallon nut spruce. This new growth flushed out on these. Every bit seven gallon size. Exceptional value. Three gallon nut spruce. Here's another one all over the dock today, and this is Lagella Wine and Roses. Um, look at those plants. Nice, big, beefy plants. Got some flower on them. Good value. Wine and Roses. These are two gallon drift roses loaded with bud and bloom. Look at those awesome plants there, guys. Here's a newer perennial with us. This is Eupatorium Ruby. So this one is a smaller statue, Eupatorium. Gives you some great color and foliage and flower. Nice. Eupatorium Ruby. These endless summer are all over the dock, man. We have a ton of them coming in. They are just gorgeous. Three gallon endless summer. Here's a nice barberry, and uh, we also have the Crimson Cutie, which is the non-invasive one, but this one is a great landscape plant. This is uh, Royal Burgundy in a three gallon. Look at the size of that. Here's another order of those uh, Red Drift. Look at those two gallon plants. Man, that's a lot of flower power there. More of those nest spruce going out in the background there. We see double red knockout and threes. Nice color there. More of those uh, wine and rose going out. Gorgeous color here guys. So I've showed you Holly several times on the dock and uh, they just don't disappoint. This is a really nice one. This has male and female. This one's China Dynasty. Look at that gorgeous plant. Here we're looking at a palette. These are Invincible Spirit 2 and you can see those buds uh, on top there. They're going to give you a lot of great color. Again this is the first pink Arborensis. Dairy hardy gorgeous three gallon plants. Invincible Spirit 2. Here's another one from the Invincible series. This is Invincible Ruby. Again, nice, tight, compact plants loaded with buds. Here the guys are checking in an order and he wants to show us these three gallon mop cypress. Look at that gorgeous plant. Well, another new one we seen on the dock last week and man, they're going fast. This is Pulmonaria Twinkle Toes. Here we're looking at a fresh new crop. This is Rose Miracle on the Hudson. And uh, this has got an intense red flower to it. Gorgeous plant. Biltmore Award winner, Miracle on the Hudson. Here we're looking at a nice fresh crop. This is uh, Hemercalis Happy Returns. They're starting to scape up here. Nice full plants. I told you we had a lot of nice roses, so I'm just going to pan here and show you the consistency of the pull on these drift roses. These are all those two gallon drift roses we've seen earlier. Just beautiful. Two more of the uh, double play spireas on the dock here today. Here we're looking at double play gold and double play doozy. And uh, I'll just pan here. You can see the nice color buds are just starting to come up on them. Beautiful. Double play doozy, double play gold. Brought one of these five gallon um, boxes green velvet down to show you. Nice landscape grade there, good value. Another new plant from Bloom and Easy, and uh, this is Rainbow Fizz spirea. And uh, this one has that gorgeous uh, different tones in the foliage with it's like a raspberry pink flower to it. Very nice plants. Here we're looking at uh, some more paniculatas and uh, this one starts early. This is quick fire and little quick fire. So if you got the space for it, this one would be great. 
If you're in a tight space area, try a little quick fire. Man, those are landscape ready plants. Those are 15 gallon Alberta spruce. Holy smokes, look at that. More Potentilla on the dock, and this is an old favorite. This is Potentilla Goldfinger, two gallons. Here we're looking at a very popular plant. This is our seven gallon Bloomerang Lilacs. Nice crop of those. We'll come here, more of the drifts. And uh, oh so easy is going out. Again, the, both of those are fantastic series. And here we're looking at a Physocarpus. This one is tiny wine. So you can see all the color here. More of the drifts going on. Here we have the hydrangeas. These happen to be bloomstruck again. This is a little quick fire and these gorgeous wine and roses. Nice. Then we go into the one gallon Buzz Buglius. You know, Euonymus is always a great color selection. Here we're looking at our two gallon. This is Euonymus Gaty. More landscape plants to look at here. We're looking at our 15 gallon green giants. Fresh new crop there. Here we have our seven gallon cranberry creeks. Beautiful, beautiful plants. And we'll spin over here. And uh, this is five gallon green giants. Here we're looking at a crop. Um, those are blushing knockouts there. We have gold rush Euonymus. Again, two gallon blushings looking really good. And more of those gorgeous gaities. This is Guillem. Again, that is petticoat. It's still blooming, going strong. Here we're looking at wine and rose. And we got some nice 19 centimeter grasses starting to come in. That's uh, Miscanthus variegated. Drift roses. Those are the dwarf uh, uh, paniculatas. That is uh, strawberry sundae. Well, here again, you can see the gorgeous roses. Those are more drifts. In the background there, those are double play Big Bang that we've seen earlier. Blue uh, Marvel Salvia. Look at all these red drifts. Man, they're colored up. Looking sensational. These are bringing in more of those endless summers. It's filling up fast. Here's another great landscape plant. This is Itea. This one is Little Henry. And you can see they're just starting to bloom. And uh, so they got a lot of buds on it. Those are going to open up with those gorgeous white flowers. And then uh, in the fall, they have an intense red foliage. So. If you don't have a place for a burning bush, this would give you that intense red. This is Itea, a little heavy. Another new crop to look at is our three gallon Annabelle's. Nice fresh crop, loaded with flower buds, looking good. If you're trying to hit a price point, we, not, we have the uh, three gallon green velvets, but we also have this awesome crop of two gallon green velvets. Here we have an allium, and you know, these have been popular on the dock. This one is a proven winner. This one is called Serendipity. Just a little peek. Uh, we're still shipping our nooks and crannies, and uh, you can see here very hardy perennials that would go great in your combination pots. And, uh, you know, consider these. We still have availability on them. Check with our teams. nice three gallon grass and this one uh, you know our grasses are coming on and uh, we'll have a whole bunch of them but we still have some nice ones available now but uh, this one's a really nice three this one's called blonde ambition check out the color on this perennial here this is Aurelia Sun King beautiful chartreuse foliage So here we're looking at Coreopsis, and this is a brand new one. This is the Uptick series, and it's in the Plants That Work program. This is Uptick, yellow and red. These are prime to ship right now. Look at the buds on those. Coreopsis, Uptick, yellow and red. Here we're looking at a great looking Rutabecchia. This is American Gold Rush in a 19 centimeter. Hey guys, if you got these on your order, this is Coreopsis Big Bang Cosmic Eye. And they're ideal. You can see they're butted up, just starting to crack open. Definitely want to get them on your lots. So this is a block of the Guillaume. This is Tempo Orange. And they're just starting to bud up. Perfect time to get them in. Gorgeous perennials here. Brand new series of Guillaume. This is uh, Peach Petticoat. Again, nice full plants. These are going fast, guys. If you want them, you better grab them. Peach Petticoat, Guillaume. Look at this block of Pensman. This is a brand new one. This one is uh, Dakota Burgundy, and uh, they just started to butt up, looking really good right now. Perfect time to get them in. Nice color on these. This is an improved variety for disease resistance and color. Nice looking plants. 
This one is Pensaman Dakota Burgundy. Here we have uh, Pensaman Dakota Verde. So this is the green foliage here with a pink flower. You can see here, nice uh, bud and bloom. Pensaman Dakota Verde. So again, that's a real quick walk through the dock here. We got a lot of nice colors. You can see blooming plants with uh, roses, hydrangeas, perennials, trees, landscape ready shrubs. Be sure to get with our sales team. Geez, I hope we're loading this truck for you.